City councilors in East Providence, they held a rare Sunday night meeting to fill a city manager's seat left open ever since the council voted 10 days ago to suspend the man occupying it. Mayor Thomas Rose said a hefty workload required a quick replacement. New tonight, Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian was in the gallery. At that meeting, she joins us live with who will take over on an interim basis. Kim. Jared, the council ultimately decided to appoint current city solicitor Tim Chapman to that interim city manager role, but not all of the council members were on board, and some say it's politics at work. Allegations of political retaliation at play as tensions flare inside East Providence Council Chambers Sunday night. To say that uh, as politics at its best, uh, I would say at the very least that's what it is. Councilman Robert Brito was a dissenting voice at a special council meeting called by Mayor Thomas Rose, who argued the council needed to be quick to appoint an interim city manager with city manager Richard Kirby out on suspension. Kirby has told Eyewitness News his suspension was retaliation for an ethics complaint lodged against Rose. Not politically motivated at all. There's a lot more, there's a lot more there that will be seen in the future. Rose moved for Kirby's suspension after he failed to allow Human Resources Director Kathleen Waterbury to return to work despite a judge ruling the city had violated her rights by firing her in the first place. Waterbury was terminated without reason after filing a sexual harassment complaint in March. At Sunday night's meeting, council members who didn't see eye to eye with Rose questioned whether the meeting should have happened at all and whether Kirby should have been suspended. I, I think we shouldn't even be here tonight. Uh, I mentioned this during the last meeting. It's unfortunately that we're here, and whenever the news is here, it's not for good reasons, it's for bad reasons. And again, the council did vote three to two to appoint Chapman to that interim city manager position, but not before a somewhat ironic debate about whether they could even do that without an HR director present. That HR director, of course, the very woman whose termination led to the city manager's suspension in the first place. Reporting live in East Providence with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.